Yes, sir. Welcome back to Reflex GT number five, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, LLL uh, are playing Spice Boys offstage, which is 1-0 for LLL at the moment. But the big match at the, uh, right now is Apex versus Dignitas, as Casper joins me back again. Uh, they are playing the following game types, CTF Sanctuary, TS Countdown, King of the Hill Nexus, and if necessary, game four is CTF Pit, and game five is TS Oasis. Uh, I already hear grenades and fire and everything, so we're gonna go live into the match. Uh, we are with Chojin, and as you can see, he's blaming people with that sniper. I uh, specifically asked for him on the stream. Uh, he's probably the best player in Europe, or one of the best players in Europe, uh, individually anyway. So it uh, should be entertaining uh, to watch this guy. So, uh, he's uh, missed two shots, hit two shots, and I think he's going to get this kill by great positioning. Even though the jetpack in general is an advantage, he made sure that that guy actually had a disadvantage by using it. Uh, looks to be uh, two down for uh, Apex and one down for Dignitas. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very interested in seeing how this uh, works out, Casper. Uh, LLL, uh, LLL lost 1-3 uh, to uh, Dick uh, the match before, and it's really going to come down to the to the next match between LLL and Apex to see who's going to play uh, Dig in that uh, grand finals, most likely. Unless uh, Apex pull up the upset, uh, pull off the upset right here, and they actually be beat uh, Dignitas. Do you think it's going to be an upset? Because uh, I saw Apex play against, uh, I believe it was the Waiters, mm -hmm. and they actually pre-owed them quite easily, uh, as the ref told me. So I think these are the top two teams there. Seeing the Lone and Lions, their scores against both uh, Dignitas, I think Apex has a slight advantage. Yeah, uh, on uh, Lone and Lions. Okay, um, yeah, I'm, I'm honestly not sure. Uh, the scores I saw from Apex and Waylord were quite close. I think it was a 2 1 and something else. Uh, but yeah, I think Apex is probably uh, better at the moment. Uh, just they, they put more games in than LLL for sure. LLL is definitely uh, very under practice, but that's completely their own fault. Um, I think it's. Uh, I think Dig is uh, probably the best team here, and I think Apex is uh, a little bit behind that. And I think it's quite close between Apex and LOL. So that's why I'm very curious to see what's uh, what's going to happen in this match and the next one. Uh, it's already uh, one uh, one zero to Dignitas. They already had a fairly clean cap. Uh, they did get stopped once, but I don't know that fairly clean cap from Dig. And Apex is definitely uh, trying to push back now. See Trojan getting caught on the uh, digging touch base, getting cleaned up by Ramirez. Ramirez pushing with the sniper to the Apex's rocks. See if Gunner can clean up nice no scope on Gunner there. Ramirez getting stuck on behind the rock. Oh, great snipe from who was that? Medicaid. Medicaid across map. Both digging touch having both snipers swarming Apex's base. Yeah, this is going to be really interesting. I mean, Trojan is probably the most individually skilled player in Europe, or definitely one of the. Uh, but Dignitas is probably the best team out right now. So this this will be probably a display of, of really good individual play against a really good team. Yeah, so exactly. it's going to be interesting to watch. I mean, sometimes you just get shut down, but uh, I think Trojan has some uh, something up his sleeve for these guys. I yeah, see uh, great control of uh, Dignitas with the power weapons. I see them having both snipes and now also the rockets. That's going to be, be a really big difference between these two teams. I think what you said, Apex is more individual. They don't really pay that much attention to the power up or something. And you see Dignitas really good controlling the power and it's also rockets quite nicely. And using them to in the advantage to cap this flag. Well, not cap it, but at least get it all the way to their base, I think. Yeah, they uh, got it to about the jump up. Uh, regardless though, Trojan as expected, played really well there. I mean, he had uh, basically three guys around him moving the flag, managed to take the flag carrier down to no shield, so his teammates had an easy finish and they, they couldn't get the flag very far. Uh, killed Riot and then actually put some shots in, uh, in Fusion as well. So, great play by Trojan. Great uh, assist Dignitas, there, yeah. Yeah, but uh, Dignitas is definitely uh, definitely uh, moving this flag at the moment. So, the, uh, the rest of uh, Apex definitely needs to step up. but. I mean, they, they are great players. I just don't think they're, they're a team at the moment. Uh, Apex actually counted. I'm sorry, I thought they were just defending. The, uh, yeah, me too. Oh, uh, I just saw that it was actually 1-1. One, one. Yeah, they, uh, they actually just countered. So while I was actually bitching about them, they, uh, they had a perfect counter cap on, uh, on uh, Dignitas. So great job on Apex's side. Oh, well, you see. Although Dig is counter capping yeah. now, and 
and there you go, 2-1 again. So, uh, good cap by Apex, but they definitely didn't hold control and they, uh, they gave up another fly cap. So, was it worth it? Yeah, I guess so, because getting a cap is always good, but then surrendering one straight after that, yeah, not, not the ideal situation, basically. Well, we see the communication uh, from, I think, believe that's Apex uh, we here. We have actually brought a coach, Robo came here with a finished friend of him, uh, who Apex uh, partly paid for, and he is coaching uh, Apex right now to see if he can make a big, big contribution to the Apex team. I haven't seen him, I've heard him call out some, uh, some power weapons in the last game against the Waiters, see if he can help Apex get control of some power weapons here against the uh, Dignitas. Yeah, I think uh, I think uh, that that could be a very important factor. I mean, Dignitas are obviously uh, slightly better, uh, well, quite a better team than Apex. Um, so they'll have most of the power weapons, but if you have a guy calling those out and timing those for you, and he actually does a, de a good job, then that can help you out a lot, because you don't have to worry about it as much, and if that guy just taps you on the shoulder and goes, yo, Snipe's coming up in a minute, then you'll get it regardless, even though you wouldn't normally have had it. So uh, it can definitely be an, a helpful factor. And it looks like it worked there because they all swarmed the rockets the moment they came up and actually managed to get dig on four down. So uh, yeah, it looks to be working a little bit now. Real aggressive play there from uh, Trojan, jumping uh, first for the kill on Fuse and then going at the sniper of Dignitas, Trojan, trying to clean up everybody. Trojan just seems so fearless. I mean, <laughs> it's like three guys in front of him, and uh, he does play it out smart. He did, doesn't just rush into it, but. He does end up like shooting two or three of them and uh, killing at least one uh, most of the time. So uh, it, this is really top level play. Yeah. From, uh, yeah. I've seen Trojan playing that aggressive that really made it possible for his teammates to swarm the base and, and, and Gunner tried to get the flag across the snipe bridge. Didn't really get that far. Great stop there from Digging Tusk, but oh, Trojan staying alive. No, he doesn't. Riot screens him up. Actually, Robo actually managed to get the flag all the way to cross their base. No shield. Oh, great, great stop there from uh, Medi K. That's great. such a tricky situation when you want to jump in there. And, yeah, they do get the camera. Uh, this is really important. Trojan. Oh, he didn't get the kill off. Oh, lucky spawn there from Robo. Yeah, they definitely get, they get a bit lucky with that rock spawn. I mean, no one was blocking it, but they could have very easily spawned the portrait as. Uh, oh, oh great yeah. spawn again. Oh, he doesn't get the kill. Too much spamming there from Trojan. Was shot though. Uh, so probably that caused him to spam a little. That's uh, that's the game. Uh, unfortunately, Trojan uh, made a pretty big mistake, and that's uh, gonna cost you a game uh, yep. against Dignitas. Uh, cool game, though. I mean, uh, really back and forth. Uh, went really quickly. Um, yeah, uh, lucky spawns, but didn't make the best out of it. And uh, Dignitas end up uh, winning 3-2. Now let's see if we can get some stats. I believe Trojan actually played a really impressive game, though. Should be a positive for sure. Yeah, there you go. Positive five for Trojan. Yeah, unfortunately, his, uh, his teammates, uh, <laughs> the, the flag was getting ran by his teammates, but none of them actually went positive or actually uh, tri attributed to uh, to the kills basically at all. I mean, all of them were negative and quite a bit as well. So, a uh, bit of a shame, but uh, it definitely shows some potential. I mean, uh, if they just uh, they keep playing and maybe on the maps that Dignitas aren't that familiar at, then uh, maybe they can take a couple of games off, maybe even beat them. Yeah, these are also the first two games for Apex. I think Dignitas already played three games, so this is their third game. Apex just coming in like an hour or two ago. First no, they did just play against the Whalers. They so. did, yeah, but maybe maybe that that's not really in comparison to Dignitas. I think they maybe should have uh, get used to the level of com competitive against uh, Dignitas. And I think if they have the potential, they should step up this game. Otherwise, I think we're going to see Dignitas go for a trio if Apex doesn't swing it around right here. Right here. Yeah, uh, this is definitely one of the better known maps though, so uh, I think this will end up in Dignitas' favor simply because they seem to be a better all-around team. Um, and I think like when it comes to pure teamwork, uh, I think Dignitas is probably going to take this one. We saw the, pitch, uh, the countdown CTF against LOL where they started off a little sloppy, but they did recover really well and then dominated the game from there on out. True. Um, yeah, I just don't see Apex taking these type of games. Uh, the next one, for example, this is TS Countdown, and the next game will be King of the Nexus. Definitely see uh, Apex uh, taking the game there. So, um, yeah, let's watch this game because with the slaying potential on uh, Apex, there is a, there's obviously always a chance that they will win the game. And if Gunner or Trojan uh, or even Raba uh, go off, then 
there's a very uh, there's a good chance that they, they they'll win this game. True. I just think uh, Dignitas does have a better chance. Great, oh, that's well played. By yeah, great opening for Trojan. Getting the kill on riots and making sure Medicaid didn't get away there with the rockets. Trying to sneak to the Dignitas base right here. Don't know if this is a great positioning, but he shouldn't. If he gets a, oh, he gets lucky. Nobody runs from above. Getting a great kill there on Fusion. Spots the player. Wow, great awareness from Trojan there. See, this is just this is something we haven't seen on the stream yet. I mean, we've seen good players like Riot and oh, what wasn't that a, an assassination? Yeah, I don't know how this game works. A wow. great play by Trojan. Great I mean, look kill. at how many kills he's already gotten, and the game's just started. He's already got six kills in less than a minute. I mean, I hear another kill. Fair Trojan really heating up this game. Yeah, if, uh, Farrell has told me that Trojan uh, in, in Team Slayers, even when he was with LLO, when he had really good players around him, he would still dominate in Team Slayers every once in a while, just just go off completely. And we're seeing that now. I mean, we've saw we've seen riots on the stream. We've seen uh, Buck Twenty, not the worst players by any means, but Trojan is just outshining them. So this DMR is very sloppy there. True. Sure, yeah, Trojan really impresses me to, in the start of this game. See if he can step it up. After like the five minute mark, if he still plays that consistent, not that good at positioning here. Probably gonna get cleaned up. No. Now this is this is what he's great at. I mean, uh, from uh, for people who used to watch Halo 2, I mean, Strong said used to do that all the time, where he would just not die. I mean, uh, his shot was good, uh, but not the best. Uh, his uh, positioning was good, but not the best. Uh, Strafe was really good actually, but the main thing that the only reason like he would get as many kills as he did with that little death was because he would just be able to stay alive all the time. Trojan getting a bit cocky though. He, I mean, he could have probably finished up a kill with a DMR, and now he just dies with the snipe. It's always uh, a bit of a shame uh, to see when people go off at the start of a game. They start to feel invincible and they make stupid mistakes. Okay, yeah, see Trojan. I think he got three or four deaths consecutively now. I think this number five. Not really picking that much kills up, still being positive though because of the first seven kills he got in the start of the game. But Apex had a lead of like seven kills, but didn't just climb back to, to it and only two kill to whoop, sorry guys, two kill deficit. Yeah, it's uh it's uh, it's pretty close now. I mean uh, Trojan definitely uh, controlled the opening which uh, which made for a pretty sizable gap at the start, but uh, Dignitas pulling back now, and Trojan, there he goes again. Uh, only two kill difference though, so in the meantime, uh, when he got the double, two of his teammates died, so yeah, kind of a trade off. Uh, but Trojan is still putting in work, I mean, I think he already has 10 or 11 kills off of his team's 24 now. So, uh, yeah, this is something we definitely wanted to see. So. Yeah, I thought I saw uh, player of Apex, I think it was Rama picking up the rockets, see if we can get some of his rocket kills in there. Don't Apex trying to get top control, if I, I believe. Yeah, Apex does control uh, the top three events, but... Uh, yeah, Rama getting a good double kill with the rockets right there, taking out Fusion and Riot. Yeah, that's what you want to see. I mean, Raba is uh, probably one of the uh, more quiet players on the team, uh, together with Fragby. Uh, but he, you know, if if players like that can like uh, cause a momentum shift, then that's that's excellent for a team. I mean, you know what you can expect from Trojan and uh, from Gunner in general. Where oh oh, great teamwork here. Oh, nice use of the jetpack there by that's, Trojan. That's insane. How did you how do you stay alive in what that situation? The fuck? <laughs> great play there from Raba uh, picking up the snipe, getting. Oh. Great kill there on Ramirez. See if Trojan, oh, getting riots, in, flanking riots right there, but got flanked himself. Two players, no shield outside. Gunner, probably cleaning up the kill. Yeah, he got the kill there on Matty K. 32, 31 there in the favor of Apex. 33 actually. Uh, Raba has a sniper. Uh, from what I uh, know from the Halo 3 though, is Raba. Uh, wasn't necessarily the best of players, but his snipe was very, very good. Like one of the, one of the better snipes in Europe for sure. I wouldn't put uh, put him in like any top five or something, but he was a very, very solid uh, sniper. Yeah, he actually uh, made it uh, into the semi-finals of the online uh, Re Reflex two v two match, and I actually got to commentate with Ace Pack and uh, and Zorda, and he would just went on a killing frenzy with a sniper, making yeah. ridiculous sniper kills. Yeah, I can definitely believe that he's uh, he's a good sniper in Halo Three. Uh, so it's a 36 to 35. Dignitas have taken control. Uh, obviously, I think this is probably one of Dignitas' better maps. Uh, but uh, their Apex are hanging in there. Uh, Trojan is doing the best job he can, and uh, his teammates are definitely backing him up. It's 
Uh, someone's on 11 kills right behind Trojan, so it's definitely not a one-man army anymore. I don't really have the feeling though, that, that they're sticking together that much on Apex. I believe it's just, oh, unlucky nade there from Trojan killing, uh, killing uh, Robot right there. Spamming, spamming, gets the kill though. It definitely looks like uh, their, uh, Apex is making uh, a lot of use off of the mistakes that Dignitas is making. Whereas Dignitas is getting more kills off of flanks and just oh, coordinated team pushes. Uh, it's kind of surprising that Dignitas are making that many mistakes and doing the same thing that LL were doing. Um, the moment they got top control, dropping down and trying to you know, flank them or whatever, but that doesn't seem to work out at all. Good bait and switch there from Dignitas. Nobody here there to help Trojan out. Exactly. It doesn't matter how good you are, you won't win against two solid players if they just shoot properly. And a sniper up for Trojan though, so maybe this could be... Oh, never mind. He left it for someone else. The sniper could maybe be a game changer though. Uh, Three more kills for uh, Dignitas and uh, six more for uh, oh, many Apex. Got the rockets there, I believe. So Trojan is looking for them. Yeah, there goes the rockets for many case. So it's uh, it's uh, five kills for Apex and two kills for Dignitas. One kill for Dignitas. Looks like with the rockets, Dignitas is going to close this game out. Again, a close game though. Again on the Team Slayer. Uh, so remember, LL also took the Team Slayer from uh, Dignitas, so maybe that's not their strongest suit. But yeah. they uh, closed the game out well, uh, overcame the good start from Trojan, and uh, he kind of slowed down at the end there. Uh, yeah, good all around game from Dignitas. True. I think that the Rockets made a big difference this game. <coughs> I, I believe Dignitas had both the Rockets almost three times, so eight guaranteed kills with the Rockets. That probably made the difference here. I believe yeah. I saw Medi K using, making real good use of the Rockets there. Gunner, negative nine. Yeah, Gunner is definitely. Uh, probably after Trojan, the, the most impact, uh, important player on uh, Apex. Uh, when you have a random team, individual play makes a lot of difference. And individually, Gunner is excellent, one of the best players uh, out there. And when he goes minus nine in, in this kind of a team, that's that's a big impact. Uh, Matty K having a great game, uh, definitely taking advantage of the rockets he had. But, uh, you know, we've seen some bad rockets so far, and uh, Matty K just didn't make those mistakes. So. Uh, next game is King of the Hill Nexus. So I called this one for Apex before simply because I don't think uh, uh, either team are that well versed at it. Uh, it's a new addition. So uh, yeah, we'll see how this works out. I mean, Dignitas has half practice, as they said, but not that much either. So uh, should be an interesting game. Yeah, this is wait and see. <sighs> Waiting for the loading of the map. 50%. Yes, but. Yes, but. Who started? And Inferno is actually asking for the Lone Lions uh, Spice Boy score. Let's, let's see what he says. Yeah, uh, so just had a small update for the LLL game. Uh, LLL is 2 up against Spice Boys. Spice Boys is basically the team that will walk away without a win, most likely. Uh, but it's very important for LLL to win this match simply because they do have to face Apex after this. So you don't want to lose your tournament out to. Uh, to a team like that. Um, so, LL are looking on their way to a solid 3-0 victory over uh, over those guys. And then uh, we'll see Apex versus LL after this match, uh, I'm assuming, on the main stage. So that's going to be an interesting match as well. Uh, so let's get going with King of the Hill Nexus. Dignitas uh, up 2-0 to zero against Apex. Uh, will Apex be able to take a game? Well, it's pr probably going to be really important for Apex to at least get one game. If they match up in the final, it's probably going to... The c games they played right now is going to count for that. So, a uh, 3-0 deficit or a, a 3-1 deficit probably going to make a big difference. Maybe a 3-2. Yeah, that, that would be the obviously the best situation for uh, for Apex, a 3-2. So, uh, Dignitas getting it. With three dead, still getting the first 12 seconds. Great use there from Riot. Uh, I think, I believe it was Riot getting a 12 seconds in the hill. Right, right, right. Not reaction. I always see Fnatic R. That was always reaction, <laughs> but now it's Fnatic uh, Dignitas Ramirez. Yeah. So he uh, was going for the hill, got back, got cleaned up by who well, we're watching Trojan, of course. Yeah, Trojan's uh, just uh, finishing his kills very neatly, uh, basically doing uh, everything you, you'd expect from him. I see a couple of people in the stream saying he's not playing as well as he can be and as he usually does, but from my point of view, I mean, you have to remember that he's playing against a very good team and I don't think we've seen anyone do this against oh. uh, Dignitas yet. Almost embarrassed rights right there, being no shield and going for the beatdown. 
but didn't happen. Gunner in a 1v1. Does he make it? Oh, great help there from Trojan getting one shot on him. Taking just fusion, trying to lift up there into the hill. He actually makes it. Gets a few extra seconds. 24 to 7. Diggy, yeah, Dignity's just getting a lead. Oh, there's a, oh. There's a little bit of trash talking in game going on there. Uh, it was uh, Fusion. Fusion, was that? Yeah, I mean, there's a bit of a debate going on. I mean, a lot of people uh, like uh, Fusion uh, as the best player uh, in Europe, basically. Uh, and a lot of people like Trojan for that title as well. So uh, I'm sure that uh, Fusion doesn't like that too much. And uh, I think he wants to let, let that be known as well. that. Uh, the moment he gets Trojan, he wants to show people <laughs> that he did, basically. And sorry to say, but I am a Fusion fan. <laughs> I'm really impressed with the kid. I think, at least he won like three FFAs uh, in Halo 3 and in Reach as well. Trojan always getting into the top three. Well, last event of FFA, I don't believe he actually made it to the finals. Not really that sure, but... No, I'm fairly sure Trojan didn't make it to the finals last time around. And uh, it's definitely, there's definitely a good point uh, as far as, uh, as FFA play goes, but... To me, I'm always more of a team-oriented player, and uh, I actually, I, if I would be following this event, uh, the uh, tournaments properly, I would probably not even choose one of them. Even though their individual skill is probably the best out of everyone there. Yeah, if you talk about team, the best team player in the game, uh, everybody talks about. Uh, yeah, I don't actually know what what's the opinion of people actually being the best team player in the game. Maybe. Well, everyone, everyone is obviously. I mean, the, there's someone who is overlooked, obviously, in this discussion, which is reaction. Um, but uh, you know, reaction. He, he lives in the U.S. now, so that doesn't count, I guess, right? <laughs> no, but I, I would say uh, my favorite player in Europe is definitely reaction. Uh, I called that like when when I quit. Uh, I had a little talk with him as well, and uh, like the, the way he sees Halo, and he's been seeing Halo, is just he's been ahead of the game within Europe anyway. Uh, just knowing how to play it, I mean, he will pick up random players and make the best out of it, and sometimes win events as well. True. Um, yeah, this game right now is still it's still so early. I mean, it's uh, 71 to 35, but you won't see this game really uh, getting any meaningful scores until about five minutes remaining. Uh, looks like Dignitas is uh, running away with it a little bit, but again, one solid hill grab from Apex and they're, they're right back into it. Seems to get a lot of people down. Apex not really managing to stay alive that long. Trojan going for the hill right now. Don't know if that's really that smart a move. Maybe should have waited until his teammates are able to back him up. Hill moves. Dignitas. Medicaid. Oh, oh my getting gosh. embarrassed. That was Trojan. so embarrassing. <laughs> There's that no shield and he still out, out battles him. Trojan. Oh, what was that? Yeah, he got the kill. I thought it was a bloodshot, but yeah, yeah the, fir the first one definitely was. Trojan seems to be getting, uh, seems to heat up, uh, be heating up a little bit now. Um, but again, you know, you're trying to control the hill. I mean, it's it's nice shots, and I I understand the point, but I I don't like. Uh, He's not, he's not been moving around and towards the hill too much so far, and that was an easy shot that he missed. That's a bit of a shame. He's gonna get the shot in though. Yeah, oh, there you go. Still, last shot in his, in his mag. Oh, oh my gosh, that was so nice. Kill on riots. And the small crowd that we do have just went nuts. They went nuts. <laughs> Shinado uh, is pulling faces, but that could just be his normal face. So and I believe sure. LL just VO's surprise boys. I see them pack him up, packing up, so. Don't think uh, Spice Boys could have uh, really made a, an effort to get a, get, get a game of uh, Lone Lions. Yeah, just to confirm that, they did just 3-0. But, I mean, that was expected. But, you know, you never want to slip up against uh, the lower seeded teams, uh, so to speak. So, uh, LL just did their drop. And it's uh, basically uh, looking like it's going to come down to our, uh, hopefully, next match. Uh, I'm... If it's not the next match, I'm going to make sure it is, because we need to see Apex versus LLL on the stage. That's that's basically the most interesting match here, probably. Yeah. And it's going to come down to those two, but uh, who do you favor after watching this? I mean, this game isn't over, but say that the Ignitas do win this, which is looking quite likely. Um, LLL managed to take a game off uh, Dignitas at least. Um, yeah, yeah. I who think, would you favor? Yeah, I think uh, Apex has a little, well, a little bit more individual skill, but I've, what we've seen from LLL, I think their teamwork is way better than we've seen from Apex. Yeah, their natural talent as a team seems to be uh, a bit above. Yeah, the Bucks are a good, good duo. Pino and Shinado played a lo long time uh, together, so 
Yeah, and uh, to be fair, Shinado and the Bucks, uh, with for real or with another guy, I mean, when uh, Bumi still had the old LLL team where it was me, Komachi, for real, and uh, Shinato, we used to play tons and tons with the old power uh, team, which was, well, mainly with uh, MVP and the Bucks. So uh, the Bucks and Shinado have had a lot of games together just with random forts. So uh, they, they, they have pre existing uh, chemistry. Chemistry, exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, once they start playing, they're going to be a dangerous, dangerous team. But that's just the issue oh, with LLL. Right. Getting a little bit dirty on Trojan right there. But yeah, that's, I think that's going to be the big difference. If Apex are going to step their teamwork up next game, then they might have a, ch have a shot, because I believe they're individually more skilled than Logan Alliance, but I think the Lions, their teamwork is way better than, uh, than Apex. So maybe if they have uh, favorable game types, if they get uh, a big CTF game or two, uh, two TSs, then maybe Apex could pull it off. But, uh, I'm a little bit slightly favoring Lonely Lines after seeing this game. Yeah, yeah, actually, uh, I'm, I'm probably in the same boat. Uh, I was actually expecting Apex to, uh, to put up quite a good fight against uh, Dignitas, but it, uh, it seems uh, a little disappointing to me so far. And um, yeah, I think if Gunner or Trojan uh, just go off, they could always beat LLL because LLL are prone to that. When someone throws something unexpected at them, um, they are prone to, like, not knowing how to handle that and uh, as we saw against Dignitas as well even though LLL had a lot of control on some of the games they didn't they uh, they still didn't close out the game True. so uh, LLL definitely can't do that against a team like Apex just because if they do go off they have the talent to uh, to upset them for sure yeah you have three players who are able I um, don't really know if Fragby is like that player who can shift Fragby the momentum could, Fragby uh, I've seen him play and I was actually very impressed with him at the uh, when he was playing uh, at the last reflex, I mean, he he had some good, great teammates actually. But he's a good player. He's a, he's a very good player. Yeah. So if you you have Fragby, Robba, and Gunner, and Trojan, all players who are quite known as maybe one of the top ten players uh, in Europe. So you have a lot of people who can actually cause an upset and make a momentum shift for Apex against Lone Lions. But I don't believe they can really change anything against a team like Dignitas, being practiced, being, being to events. Have great individual skill and great teamwork. Yeah, exactly. I think I think Dignitas is probably a bit above and beyond for uh, Apex and LLL. Uh, I think uh, if LLL actually, uh, but it, it's so uh, LLL are so inconsistent though. But if they maintain the level that they had, and if they then actually stay consistent and close out their own games, uh, I could see them taking some games off of Dignitas in the finals as well. But uh, I'm really curious to see uh, the Apex versus LLL series first because. Um, I was expecting Apex to be the better team, but uh... I just saw sort of putting into the chat that the next game is going to be the Waiters against Dignitas on, on, the, on the main stage. Really? So, Lauren Lion Apex, I don't know if they're going to play at no, Station if 2. That, no, if that's not on the stream, then I'll get it on the stream, no worries. Huh? <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, uh, I see in the stream that uh, the last two games were fairly close. I, I, I remember that, I know, but uh, still. They didn't take a game. Like LLL at least took a game, and the LLL games were quite close as well. I mean, either way, I think Dignitas is better than both both of these teams. Uh, I'm just curious to see what uh, what team is actually better between LLL and Apex. Is an LLL also going to the the nationals in MLG? Uh, I think believe it's Providence. Uh, uh, Shinado did mention something about that, but I have absolutely no idea. I mean. Would be quite surprising to me, but uh, yeah, yeah, it could be possible. Uh, Dignitas, uh, there you go, it's a 3 0 win. Uh, this was definitely an easy game. The other two games were uh, a bit closer, but uh, a bit disappointing by Apex. I was hoping they would take at least the game, hopefully, to maybe put up a really good fight. Uh, so, this was a 3 0 sweep. I'm going to find out for you guys what's next on stage. And uh, if LLL versus Apex is not next, I'm going to make sure that they are on stage anyway. Big game from Medicaid right there. 11 ki uh, positive 11, 24 kills. And not, oh uh, well, every player of Apex going negative. Yeah, it was a bad game all around for everyone. Not expecting that actually from Apex. I haven't, uh, I believe Gunner went negative every game. So that, I yeah. don't. So Gunner did not have a good series at all. But you know, that's the thing. If they, uh, if they actually uh, do pick up the game, start playing well, then who knows what's possible. All right, um, I'm gonna do a bit of recon for you guys and uh, We'll be back with some updates in a little bit.